Hello all, today we will learn a new lesson in the matrix. Let's see what we are going to learn today. Today we will learn about upper triangular matrix and we learn two things about upper triangular matrix. One, we'll see what is an upper triangular matrix and then we'll see how we can convert a matrix into upper triangular matrix using row elementary transformations. Yes. Uh, if you have not seen the row elementary transformation then i have made a video on uh, row elementary transformation you can see i'll give the link here in the end of the screen so you can see that uh, row elementary transformation so let's see what is the upper triangular matrix uh, there are two conditions one it has to be a square matrix that means the number of row should be equal to number of column and second all elements below diagonal must be zero so below diagonal all the elements must be equal to zero let's see uh, an example of what we called an upper triangular matrix so if this is a matrix let's say with element 1 2 3 0 4 5 0 0 and 6 so you can see that this is a square matrix with the order 3 cross 3 and we have this uh, as the diagonal and you can see all the elements below diagonal uh, 1, 2 and 3 are all 0. So this is an upper triangular matrix. Now let's see how we can convert a matrix into upper triangular matrix using row elementary transformations. So let's say that this is a matrix A and we need to convert this. This is a square matrix. Uh, let me write this matrix here. This is 1. 2, 3, 2, 5, 7, 2, 5, 7, and then 3, 1, and 2, 3, 1, and 2. And we need to convert this into upper triangular matrix. That means we want these three elements, 1, 2, and 3, because these are below diagonal. We need to convert these three elements, 0. So I'll tell you here three steps to convert any matrix into the upper triangular matrix. You need to remember these three steps. Step number one, we need to convert column by column. We need to convert elements column by column. So we'll start with first column and we'll convert all the elements of first column into zero. Then we'll move to the next column and convert all the elements of the next column into zero. And similarly, we will move further. So let's say if we have a four cross four matrix, then we'll convert all the elements of first column to zero then second column to zero then third column and so on so this is the way the step number one uh, or we can say the tip number one convert all the elements in the first column to zero then second and so on tip number two while we convert all the elements in a column to zero we should start from the top to bottom so uh, top row to bottom row that means we will convert this element first and then this element so we are moving from top to bottom this is uh, tip number two or we can say the step number two tip number three or we can say the step number three is we need to perform the operation that is the fixed operation let's say if you want to convert this element to zero in which column it is it is in first column so we need to perform operation from first row right so Let's say if we want to convert this into zero, this is in which column? This is in first column. So we need to perform operation from row number one. We need to convert this into zero. So this is in which column? This is in column number two. So we need to perform operation with row number two, right? So operations will be performed with the row, with the number of row, uh, such that the element is belonging to that particular column so that means if element is in column number two then to convert it to zero we will perform operation with row number two so let's start uh, we'll have to take care of these three steps so according to this uh, we need to start from leftmost column and we need to start from top to bottom so we will be converting this two to zero first now and yes, the tip number three, this is in column one. So we need to operate with row number one. So what operation we will be requiring, uh, we can multiply uh, in row number one, one by two, and then we can subtract. So the operation will be row two will be converted by row two minus twice of row one. So this is the operation 
we need to perform twice multiplication into row number one and then we'll subtract this with row number two. So the resultant matrix will be uh, row number one will remain unchanged. Row number three will remain unchanged. Okay, so this is two. So two minus two, this will be a zero. We are multiplying two in this. So we are multiplying with two in this. So two into two, that is zero. This is four, five minus four, this will be one. This is six, seven minus six, this will be one. So this is the first step and we have converted this first element to zero. Now we need to move down in the same column. First of all, we convert all the elements of that same column. Then only we will shift to next column. So now we need to convert uh, this uh, next uh, element in the same column. We'll convert this to zero. And again, this is in column number one. So we need to perform operation with row number one. So now what will be the operation? So row three will be converted. So we'll subtract by three R one. That means we'll multiply by three in row one and then we'll subtract this from row number three. So now what will be the resultant? The next resultant will be, this will remain same, one, two, three. This will remain same, zero, one and one. Now this is uh, three minus three will be zero. One minus three to the six. So this is one minus six, that is minus of five. And now this is three to the six, three threes are nine. So this will be three threes are nine. Two minus nine, that is minus of seven. So we can see we have converted this element also to zero. Now we have completed first column. Now we can move to the next column and we need to convert only this element to zero. That is minus five. So just to convert this element to zero, what we need to do? Uh, just remember, we need to perform operation with uh, row number two because this element is column number two. So we'll perform with row number Two. So what we can do is we'll simply multiply this by five and we can add both these rows. So the operation will be R3 will be converted by R3 plus uh, five R2. So this will be the operation. The first row will remain same one, two and three. Second row will be same zero, one and one. The third row will change. Zero will not reflect. So this will zero. That is why I have given you a particular order so that the element we have already converted to zero does not changes back to some other number. So it will remain zero. And then this is minus five plus five will be a zero. Now this is minus seven plus seven will be, sorry, minus seven plus five will give you a minus of two. So now we can see that this is a matrix converted to upper triangular matrix. I hope you have understood the concept, uh, make in your mind that you need to follow these three steps. So you can see if you want to uh, uh, see that uh, lower triangular matrix, so I'll give you the link here and you can click on it and then you can see how we can convert a matrix into the lower triangular matrix. Thank you so much.